Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is my deck collection. Hey, today we're gonna look at some of my odds and ends decks. What are these? Uh, well, basically, this was like a long time before all the custom decks started coming out, long before like Illusionist started making custom cards. When I was a little kid, like when I was a teenager and I was collecting decks of cards, there was really nothing out there except for like bridge decks, bicycle decks, uh, just decks you'd pick up at amusement parks, decks you'd pick up, you know, when you went to an airport in a new state, uh, you know, and, or casino decks, you know, that was pretty much all you could collect back in the day. And so I was collecting cards even way back then. And so these are just some of the cards that I've picked up. And um, I've got three uh, shoe boxes full of these cards. Uh, the, you know, the shoe boxes that your vans come in. Like these are literally van shoe boxes. And so um, I'm going to do three different videos. going to show you uh, how, how many of these random cards I have. There's not much to show you other than just to say, hey, this is part of my collection for those of you who've asked. So let's get to it. All right, first up, Lord of the Rings deck. Actually, there's a review for this. Um, so way back when, when I first started doing reviews, uh, it comes in a little pouch. They're really cool, all hand-drawn uh, pictures of the different characters in the Lord of the Rings movies. And uh, I think my brother-in-law got this for me from a box collection of DVDs he got. Sealed deck of cards from San Francisco. Ooh. Mini deck of cards from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Here's a deck devoted to Oregon lighthouses. And here's a deck of cards for the Oregon coast. Here's a bridge deck from the Naval Academy. It comes in this little plastic case, so my brother-in-law got this for me, and uh, I don't think I've ever even opened it. Here's a box of round playing cards, so they're not square, they're round. And here's a deck of oblong playing cards. It comes in this plastic case. I got a few decks of these transparent plastic cards, you know, that you can get wet, that, that don't bend or break. So these are the bicycle, just random uh, rider backs. And here's another one, the same material, but this one's called the Invisible Cards. It looks like that on the other side. Here's a bridge sized deck called the Irish Legendary Cards. There's the back design. And here's a deck from St. Thomas LaCroix. We be jamming. These cards look Spanish. They're bridge size and they get wrapped in plastic. Didn't, come in a, didn't even come in a box, so never opened them. Here's a bridge sized deck from the Navy Federal Bank. I don't know anything about these cards other than they're bridge size and they say playing cards on the front. Another deck from Disneyland. So again, plastic card shelled box, bridge size cards. There's the face. And another deck of cards from Disneyland. How could I have forgotten Chicago? Chicago! Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Clear Lake! These are called Terracotta Museum Quality Playing Cards. Uh, picked these up, I think, again, at one of those uh, novelty hardware stores. These are opposite color Hoyle cards. So the red cards are black and the black cards are red. Like the hearts, like the heart cards and the diamonds, they're black. And the club cards and the spade cards are red. Another one of my old decks, it's a bridge size, has Benjamin Franklin in the front, comes in the cardboard box, it's all beat up. These are also Spanish or Italian uh, cards, L different shape and size, and they have different suits, so the clubs are actual clubs, and these are the coins. And I got a deck of cards from Western Financial Bank, and this last deck of cards just says the Classic Collection. All right, so that is my third video. I made three of these in total, and I'll stick all the links to the other uh, videos in the description below. Bye.